Max. But we have another Fernando to talk to right now. It was a classic fight late last year, the battle for supremacy at 154 pounds. There was drama. There was a show of valor. After a disastrous first round for Fernando Vargas, he was concussed, basically. He would come back. He'd dominate a round, score that knockdown on Trinidad. By the end, Vargas went after it. He was pounded. No shame in going after it and going out trying. But it was the first loss of his professional career. Fernando Vargas now comes back after that loss to Felix Trinidad. He will fight Wilfredo Rivera in El Paso tomorrow night. Fernando, anybody can deal with success. You've had a lot of success. What has it been like? Take us through the phases of dealing with this loss. Well, I think, um, you know, uh, what helped me a lot was uh, knowing that, you know, uh, great champions have lost, you know, have, have uh, lost and lost their titles and have came back and, you know, it's like uh, my, my, my friend Big Boy from Power 106 says it's greater later. So, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, stepping back into the ring and, and being uh, successful and being, you know, uh, regaining my world championship. Fernando, so what are your short-term plans now? I know you can't look past Rivera, but over the next 12 to 18 months, year, year and a half, what are your short-term goals in boxing right now? Well, I want to definitely be world champ again. You know, that's, that's what I'm looking for. I want to, you know, a rematch with Trinidad like, you know, the day after I fought him. But, um, you know, obviously he says that it's, it's not going to happen. And, um, you know, if, if he says that he'll give it to me tomorrow, you know, at 160, I'm there yesterday. So, you know, I'm looking forward to that, and hopefully we can make it happen. Now, I know you're not the type, anyone who, who knows about you, looking at you, know you're not the type to be satisfied with a loss under any circumstances. But do you ever stop to think that you two, you and Trinidad, created history? you ever stop to think that you were in a classic that 50 years from now, people are going to be talking about that fight? How does that make you feel? Makes me feel good, too, but I, wanna, uh, I wish that I was at the other end, if you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's always going to be something like, uh, you know, uh, in my left, uh, I guess, uh, you know, uh, shoulder or whatever it might be, you know, that if... I don't get him in the ring again, you know, I'm not going to be satisfied. So, you know, I hope, you know, I hope to God, you know, that he gives me a rematch. Fernando, we saw a guy, uh, Oleg Muskayev, recently come off a knockout loss and get knocked out again. You're taking on Wilfredo Rivera. This is a very tough guy. Why no tune-up before taking on the likes of Wilfredo Rivera? I'm not, I'm not a tune-up type of guy. I <laughs> guess I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not a, uh, you know, I've been in camp for three months, you know, some time just to, you know, take time for myself. And, you know, and to get into the swing of things and to uh, correct the things I did wrong in the Trinidad fight. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to fight somebody that I'm going to hit with a left jab who's going to go to sleep. You know, um, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to fight somebody who's going to come and try to win, who's going to, you know, give me a little bit of, out of a fight. And, you know, hopefully I'm going to be out there, you know, definitely, you know, hanging out with my boys after, you know, five, six rounds, you know. But, you know, I'm ready to go ten rounds if necessary. You know, um, I've been working hard and I look forward to it. Fernando, earlier you mentioned that it's going to be an intelligent war. It's going to be the way you box. What comes to mind especially is Ike Corte. What were the differences in your game against Corte and Trinidad, and what do you want to get back to the Corte style? How are you going to do that for, with Rivera? Well, I've done that already in, in camp, but, you know, the difference between, you know, my last fight and the fights that I'm going to continue to show, like, you know, the fight with Ike Corte, you know, is that, you know, the mistakes I made was that I was out there trying to be a brawler, you know, and, you know, Trinidad got in my head, you know, saying things about Mexicans this and Mexicans that, and, you know, I'm not going to take anything away from him, but he did get in my head, you know, and I just said, you know, well, you know, it's almost you take it back to, you know, a street fight, you know, um, being a kid, you know, uh, growing up the way I did, you know, you never, you never punked up from nobody, you know, you never, you know, backed down from nobody, no matter who it was, big or small, you know, um, and, um, you know, I think that, you know, right there, and then that's what took over. I just went out there to try to go toe, toe for toe, toe at, at him, and I tried to, you know, go blows for blows. It didn't matter. You know, I didn't think about being smart. I didn't think about my intelligence, and, you know, it cost me the fight, but, you know, I look forward to coming back. Uh, to Fernando, Oscar De La Hoya has mentioned your name. Previously, he said he'd never fight you. Now, he seems to be, or you seem to be, on his list. Would you like to fight Oscar? Well, my, my, my door is always open. Um, my phone is always on. If he wants to make the call and, and uh, you know, step into the ring room uh, and with, in the ring with me, I'm, I'm there. 
Fernando, did you, have you been watching tapes of the Rivera Whitaker fights, the Rivera De La Hoya or Mosley fights? And if so, can you share with us anything you may have picked up that you plan on exploiting? Well, you know, I saw a few things, but you know, I really don't really like to look at tapes too much of of different fighters. You know, I I watch it one time and that's it because of the fact that you know um, a fighter's not gonna fight the same fighter the same way. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way I am. I never fight the same way. You know, each time I go out. So you know. Uh, I watched, you know, a tape or two of them, and that was it. I watched it one time, and, you know, that was it. So I look forward to stepping to the ring and, and, and just being, you know, taking back to basics and For, being the way I was. Fernando, I haven't heard you address this last one here. Uh, De La Hoya is still the money man in the division. If he doesn't decide to go after Shane Mosley, what's left for Mosley, really? You got six heads, you got some other guys, Vernon Forrest, maybe Zab moves up. But you and Shane would be a tremendous fight. Have you given that fight any thought? And what do you think about that fight? Like I said, like I said, Shane, I'll, um, <laughs> like I said, Max, I'll fight anybody. You know, it, it doesn't matter who it is. You know, like I said, my phone's always on. You know, and they know my promoters. If they want to make the fight, Shane, you know, or De La Hoya or anybody, I'm there. You know, so, you know, I'm not too hard to reach. So. Like I said, we can make it happen. All right, we believe you, Fernando. Fernando Vargas joining us live from El Paso, Texas. Good luck to you. Hey, man, just spit it right in there. Don't worry about it. Drop your hands, be sharp, change your angle. Give him that, hey, hey, come on. And snap your punch. So you saw the copy.